Hey DC. Yes, sir. Since you're here. I'm not here. Come here, come here and look at this. I'm not actually here, James. I came up here just for this. Hey, thank you, sir. Just for you. What you got? Oh my god, it's just what? holy f holy f Okay, we've only been home for 48 hours after the Scottsdale run. We got the two leads from Richard on the Corvette Coupe, so let's go rescue two more mid-year Corvette Coupes. Grab your cup, Joe, let's go. It's time for that afternoon ritual. Some people like to have their foundational nutritional supplements in the morning. I like to have mine in the afternoon. I'd get a little lull around 3, 3.30. Get the AG1. It's also really great for your immune health. It's actually a really tasty drink. It's easy to do. Look at that. Get your scoop. Put it in. I'm going to shake it up. Again, this is a great foundation for your nutrients for the day. It really helps your immune system. And it's a refreshing drink. Smells good, tastes good, it looks green. Head to my link in the description below to get a free one year supply of AG Vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Number of other reasons why I like this drink is it is gluten free, dairy free, 500 pesticides and herbicides free, no GMOs, no peanuts, no added sugars, no egg, no lactose, and no animal byproducts. AG1 combines science-driven ingredients designed for easy absorption to deliver benefits every day. This really helps me pick up at the end of the day, so my time of the day is 3.30. I know a lot of people like to have their nutrients or supplements in the morning, but I recommend it at 3.30. A couple more swigs, I'm good to go. Morning, guys. Morning. What time y'all leave? 4.30? 4.30 in the morning. It's 11 o'clock, we're in Rockport, Texas. Uh, we know for sure we're going to rescue two Corvette Coupes mid-year, so 65 to 66. Okay. Look pretty rough. It's sitting for a long time, and one of them, the front left front wheels, is like this. <laughs> so I'm assuming that you brought the big gun just in case we don't do the same thing as we did in Houston. Correct. <laughs> so that two hours is going to turn into two minutes. Okay. I'm so in. we brought the I'm huge in. forklift, the diesel four-wheel drive that we use out in Nevada. I'm in. What's cool, I'm glad everybody's here. It looks like a really neat place and they have another area that they just bought a huge piece of property that a car collector lived on. Yeah. That's supposedly a bunch of cars and engines scattered around. He said the caveat was if it's raining, we couldn't go out there and look at the beautiful sunshine. Oh, it's beautiful. But it says the rain's on the way, so let's go rescue these two Corvettes and hopefully buy some other cool stuff. You ready? Yes, sir. He's got the directions, let's roll. So, <laughs> this might end up being a fun day. We brought the overkill out here, the big forklift, because these cars look like they're gonna be difficult to load. And we just stuck it in the mud. Ooh. It is crazy heavy. <laughs> morning, James! Good morning! It looked good on paper, sir. I was about to call you until you not pull over there. Can you believe that is sitting right there? I cannot believe that. It's just <laughs> and we were able there. to buy it. Oh, that's crap. insane. All right, let's go find the owner and uh, see what we're up against. But check out the left front wheel on that. Woo! Oh. Oh. See how I wanted the forklift? <laughs> okay. I'm glad you brought that. How you doing? Good, you? Great, sir. How are you? Pretty good. Come on. Come on. How you doing? Great, great. You Jesse? No, he's in there. He's in there. Okay. All right, Dennis. That's Zach. How you James doing? and Sean. How's it going? Sean, that's right. You're doing all right? Yeah, really good. Ain't seen you in a minute. <laughs> yeah. We've got a lot of horsepower trying yeah. to get these things rescued. I know that's right. right. <laughs> We're just trying to get all these little bikes together and you know, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, cool place. Yeah, he's on the phone. He'll be off the phone here in a second. All right, we're just, uh, is it okay if we just walk around for a minute sure. and see what we're up against? On. Well, it rained this morning, so that's not going to help us any, but... No. We'll figure it out, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to make it happen. Put it like that. Okay. So. These look like they're going to be tough to load. <laughs> what do you think, son? This here was the parts car. You know, we actually have a whole nother set of the uh, 
for knockoff for one of these too. Okay, outstanding. And um, probably I've got probably 14 or 15 427s. Okay. You know, uh, well, we didn't bring enough pallets. No. I mean, there, we got a, there, when y'all see, there's a lot of, you know, there is extra parts, dude. I mean, I mean, extra, everything. Chrome, um, dash pieces. What I liked about these, man, most of everything was there. You know what I mean? Uh, one of these has a really good dash in it. Every piece is in the dash. That's what's crazy about it, man. It's like they just threw the cars out there and we bought it all. So this is a code 988, which is Milano Maroon. Black interior car, four speed, air. Yeah. Uh, 1966. It's also a side exhaust car. Really high option car. There's a bunch of that stuff still over there too. There's there's extra chrome pieces, trim, and all that stuff there too, you know? I have one 427 uh, on a motor stand. Okay, are you it, the 427 tri-power motors? Uh, yeah. Uh, Y'all so, did get the, the other hood with the flip window, didn't you? Yes, we got that. Yeah, there was a uh, nice uh, racing hood for a split window. You gotta see this, Sean, this is really cool. So, no, this is, it, so this is a code UU car, which is rally red, but what's neat is, if I look at the trim tag, it's a 443, yeah, um, right which is white with red interior. And they did flip flop. Yeah, and we'll, what we'll need to do is we'll, we'll post some pictures of what it looks like, but a lot of it's missing, but however, you can see the seats are white, carpet's red, dash is red, but when you got in this car and you looked up, it was all white. <coughs> so it's a two-tone red and white interior, which is pretty unusual, code 443, and a 396 four and a quarter horse car. The 396 is, uh, it's there. It's there? Yes. So. I'm a big block person, man, so. Neat car. All right, Sean and James, you guys come up with a plan. Well, we we already we made a deal on these two before we got down there, down here. So hopefully we can go look at some of these other cars yes. and motors and stuff and make hey, a deal on some, some of that. There's some seven from '72 to '76 Corvettes out there. Okay. Com everything, you just got to get it all. Everything's there. There's one complete Corvette out there, back window missing. Okay. You it's know what all year there. That is? It's it's uh '76. Okay. I also didn't mention earlier that's an air coupe over there. <laughs> all right. Well, is there a place where you park these rigs? Relatively yeah, close. Yeah, um, because they're big. Actually, we can park them right across the street, man. We can move some of this stuff, and uh, you can back. We can get get one of them back right up here in the shop. You know, we'll move some cars out of the way. All righty then. And let me get everything lined up for you, man. So, check this out. Haven't checked the numbers on it. Hopefully, it's original motor, yeah, but right. incredibly right. high option car. Knockoffs, side exhaust, air, coupe. Wow. Unbelievable that this car has gotten this far down on its knees. But as highly options as this car is, it will get restored and likely will not be a resto mod. Same with that. Being a 396 car, the first year of the big block, four to quarter horse, which is what I hope it is and what it should be with the big block hood. And and he says they have the engine to this car on the stand. Wouldn't that be crazy if these were numbers matching cars? After we get these on the trailer, we're gonna go to the location where these were found and the 63 split window. Watch Sean and James struggle with these. That's gonna be interesting. I'm glad we had the forklift. So there's a set of the wheels for these knockoffs are out at the property, which we're gonna go to later after we figure out how to get these Corvettes on the trailer. But uh, hopefully we end up with a bunch of motors and a bunch of cool Corvette parts today.
Oh, that would have sucked me around the board there. Tell you what, Sean P, that is an incredibly rare Corvette. <laughs> there could be some guys going to love that. Side exhaust, knockoff wheels, air conditioning, four speed, AM FM radio. Yeah. <laughs> Like I told you in our last Corvette video, we will buy them dead or alive. And these are rougher than a stucco bathtub, but they're rare option cars. Say thanks. I love what you what you've done, uh, showing people uh, what the old metal is for. Absolutely, it's got value. Everything has value, right? Everything ha everything has value to somebody. It just depends on how you look at it. I mean, to me, I I love that. It's rough. I, it's gonna need a lot of work, but it's a 396 four and a quarter horse coupe, <coughs> and it's worth. And you know what? It's You're it's so much it's so much memories. It's it's back when stuff was built the way it was supposed to be built. You know, and I will be willing to bet that that will be back on the road the next 24 months for people to enjoy and see. I have faith. Uh, I'm not going to say 12 months because that's... <laughs> <laughs> they, it'll, they take, say, it'll take two years to do that one. How, how do y'all say it down here? That's going to be a long country minute. There you go. That's right. A month of Sundays. A month of Sundays. A month of Sundays. Thanks for watching. It's nice to meet you, sir. No, very much appreciated. Cool. What, Thank what, you. What, you, what you and Richard and, and, and Discovery have done. Right? Really it's, it's clued people in that Yep, you're right. That has cool. awesome gas mileage and it's made out of plastic and it's wonderful, but that's <laughs> that's got style. That's got it's, it's got American style. sports it's got, car right there. Got, that's got style, it's got class. 66, Please. 65. Actually, we're going to ask you for a suggestion. But before we go to the next location, okay. I think the guys want to eat because they've been up since four in the morning. Okay. What's the best local place to eat? Man, no. Uh, you can go to the boiling pot. Anything. You can go to the boiling <laughs> pot where they just or throw all the, cra the, the crawdads and the crabs on the, on the table. That's pretty nice. Or you can go to the butter churn up there. It's pretty cool. So butter churn or the boiling pot? Yeah. Is yeah. the butter churn like home cooking, like yes. local stuff? Yeah. It's yeah. not a chain. They also got mm -hmm. a, what's okay. called a surfing crab in uh, Portland. It's real nice. Which one's closer? The uh, butter churn. Butter churn or the boiling pot? Butter churn sounds so cool. What do you guys think? The, uh, sounds interesting. I'm in. Right, let's do the butter churn. So we're at the butter churn, and I got the Saturday special, which is the broiled chicken, potatoes, green beans, and carrots. It's actually a buffet, so. I figured I'd get a uh, traditional home cooked country meal. It was a good one back for a second instead of putting everything on one plate. Yeah, I think you can go back if you want, Shompy. What'd you get? Oh, I've got 
the pork chops, the skirt steak, mashed potatoes, and little corn dog nuggets. Here's a little bit more interesting than mine. I think I'm gonna, I got uh, boiled chicken, and I'm gonna put a little potatoes with it. Okay. Just have me a good country meal right here. Meat and potatoes, beautiful. What do you think? It's good, I'm hungry. I haven't, beans. Had, I haven't had buffet and God, I lost count. They canceled all during COVID, remember? Yeah, that's right. Mmm. Really sweet carrots. All right. The butter churn is a thumbs up. Well, the butter churn is just like I thought it was going to be. Great home cooking. And buffets are back open again after they were closed for COVID. So, good idea, Troy and Jesse. Now we're going to go back to the shop. I'm going to try to buy some more stuff. All right. Let's roll. So, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're not going to tell you where we are yet. We just walked through 80 cars, which you didn't see, which you might see later. We're heading into the engine room. We're searching for an IF code 396 four and a quarter horse motor for the coupe we just bought, the 65. And up in the rafters, split Corvette window show. Corvette, 63 right there. Wow. Piece of fiberglass. Bumper. And a bumper. This <laughs> one Lots of Corvette parts. Uh, that's really neat. I need that hanging on my wall, James. Yes, sir. What do you think, Sean? I don't know where to start or finish. Um, you're going to find a bunch of these crates. This is insane. And motors in them. All right. So these crates out here have actually have motors in them. This brakes. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there must have been a 67 Corvette. Some of these crates are empty, and some of these crates have motors in them. I'm literally scratching my head. So there's crates everywhere here that have motors in them. Not all of them do, but some of them do. It's kind of odd the way these heads are for these 409s. Miscellaneous mid year Corvette parts just laying around. Some bumpers over here. Doors, chins. I think they've seen better days, Sean P. What do you think? Uh, I think that'll buff out. Just be chrome and it'll be good to go. All right. There's a whole pile of bumpers right there. Oh, cool. Complete, huh? Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Yes. <laughs> That's right, right there. Wow. Well, that was almost too easy, Sean P. Oh, uh, yeah, it's because James did it. Oh, okay. It got in my mouth, man. <laughs> Already. Take good. There's, no. a There's a manifold right here that I really want to see. Okay. I told you the bumpers were up here. Watch out. Oh. This is a good it's one. such a weenie, Sean. It smells like squirrel dung. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this would be had smell-o-vision. How about that? Oh, if you had smell-o-vision, you wouldn't want to be up here. There's a, hey, Sean, convertible top. Is he over there? No. Where's it at? Right here. So well, let's get it. I can't tell what it's for, though, so I don't know if we put Hey, it what's down. these old grills for? It's Corvette. I already saw it. You did? Yeah. Hey, DC. Yes, sir. Since you're here. I'm not here. Come here, come here and look at this. I'm not actually here, James. I came up here just for this. Hey, thank you, sir. Just for you. What you got? Oh my God, it's a tripod. Yes, it is. What? Holy <laughs> Holy oh, Come on, got it. Ah, uh, that's nice cool, that. James. I'm sorry, that, you didn't I see that, that here. That. So, yes. Look at that. Already. <laughs> Where is the uh, fuel injection set up? It was sitting out there. Uh oh. Is it it's here somewhere. It's on the trailer at the shop, isn't it? Uh, no. Here. So these are for the 66 we just bought, Sean. Oh, okay, so it's whole now. Yep. It's, it's getting more complete. Those are like brand new almost, too. Got him. Looks I like got took him. them off when the car came out here in 69. Right. Got it. Right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Just what I wanted. <laughs> got it. It's what I wanted. I might actually, I think somewhere's in this pile is a bag that goes. Hey, there. somebody put that, that Mustang in the way of the trail. Yeah, that would be it. Look at this. 
That's some cool mid-year Corvette stuff. Cool. Very cool. And we got side pipe covers. Got the bumpers. Bring it up to here. And that's picks and shovels. Stay tuned for an update on this later, but this act, this actually goes with the Corvette, so you'll see this. The other 80, it'll be a couple months. Yeah. Now, we're going home. Morning, Zach. You ready for an update? Let's do it. How about one from Coffee Walk 286, which was pretty recently. It was a 1H chestnut brown 1983 CJ7, a very base Jeep. We said we're going to do a few things too, and I predicted that it would shine and polish up like a new penny. Because it didn't look like it had ever been polished before. The first thing I'm going to do has some of my new outstanding blend coffee that has hints of chocolate and cinnamon. Come check this out. Again, the 1983 CJ7 and 1H Chestnut Brown Metallic. Here's what we thought this Jeep needed, and fortunately the new owner, which we've already found an owner for it, liked our vision, saw the YouTube, and said that's what I want done. So we put a set of factory original base model wheels, new tires. Ooh, that coffee's good. Ooh, it smells like cinnamon and chocolate. And again, a lot of times when these Jeeps have got real short miles on them, this was miles in the 50s because they didn't have power steering, so we added power steering. With all, e all OE parts, we have all this stuff in the wrecking yard. Rebuilt pump, new high pressure hose and low pressure hose. And if you look right down here, we added the Holley Sniper fuel injection. And again, this is an 83 and 18 chestnut brown metallic. And we did a limited valve cover so it won't leak. This thing is actually going to a ranch. He was thrilled to find it because he wanted a rust free local Texas base model CJ. And here's what we got. He did not want to top on it. So we got one back out there in the wild. And come check this out. We had just so happened to have a 1H84 scrambler. So chestnut brown metallic was a popular color from 1981 to 1984. We've got a body off the frame, 84 scrambler back here. We got a lot of the accessory components already shot. We call them the cut ins and the booths. Let's go see what's in the booth. Morning, Ruben. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Boom. All the cut ins for the 1984 scrambler. And by the way, we have these side steps new in stock right now, reproduced. I mean, and the quality is absolutely amazing on our website. We've waited for years and years and years to get these, and these will fit your 1981 to 1986 CJs. It'll actually fit every year, but they're correct for the 81 to 86. But you can see how extensive we do the cut ins on the fenders, grill, windshield frame. Windshield frames were painted off the Jeep the factory. They cut it on the hood. Let's go see the body. Now this is an 84 one inch chest up around the top. The firewall's been cut in, the bottom of the Jeep's been painted. The sides are exceptionally straight. It's a very, very nice rust free tub that we did go ahead and go all the way basically to the bare metal. At least completely on the outside. And we will paint the inside of this and I don't think it's getting sprayed in line, but again the bottom's been done. This one's almost ready for the booth saving another killer scrammer. Thanks for watching, you know what to do. As always, please like, tag, share, and follow, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week. So as you can see, they pulled the three Corvettes out of here, and when they pulled the 66 out, spare tire carrier came down, and boom, it fell right there, and now we found it. And that's a original spare tire. Look sure is, original, original Goodyear G7815. That dry rod it. I bet it'd hold air. I bet you would too. Ooh, we'll put that back in the up. car. Picks and shovels. That's our last piece of gold for the day. Yeah. The tank is sick. It is, isn't it? Come on, DC, just go slow. Thank you.